so this is a continuation of the previous video uh, we were able to show the uh, screen in screen 3 we were able to show the uh, uh, the collection the collection uh, the, the repeating uh, uh, section information from the SharePoint list in this uh, video we will uh, do the save so first we have to whatever we have edited we have to uh, save it so in screen 2 before that we have to in the screen 2 in the plus logic we have to change the value of the collection the, the collection name to this because we created a copy of the first screen so we have to make the change in the collection similarly in the clear logic so we will follow these two steps so we go here in screen 3 this plus logic we have to change so instead of collection users we have to change it to this collection table data or let me show you we click a plus here nothing will happen so that's the reason we have to change the name of the collection to the proper name so we do here similarly for the clear logic we need to change the name of the collection so that's the first step before we can do any saving so here we do this the name of the collection change so we come here we can add a row now we can clear everything we can add a row now okay so that's a small change we have to do it's because of the cut and paste thing now we add a save button in screen 3 we will add a save button so insert button this year oh my I was pasting in the wrong place of course we don't need so many buttons I wasn't paying attention okay so on, on this year now we will uh, paste the code first we will update the context the same logic in the screen one we need to compose the uh, semicolon separated values then pipe between each row so we do this we get all the uh, values we update the context we update context to do the joint collection and then joint collection of string and then we patch it so in the patch here uh, we have to provide the uh, gallery selected item so let's see here gallery one underscore one so this name let's see what name it has gallery one underscore one okay so we got the right name uh, of the gallery so all items so let's see what name it give to the text input text input id underscore one first name one c that's the name it has given to the controls when we copied it okay so this looks fine gallery two dot selected items so we have to make sure that this is gallery two so the name here gallery two okay so we are fine there gallery two dot selected item selected defaults of repeated section list that's the same data source let's check the title uh, text input one underscore one and then uh, text input one text input two underscore one to get the uh, name of the, the phone number so hopefully and then we do the patch with the default uh, 
the gallery two selected default then the true text and then the joined uh, collection uh, the data table data the csv string uh, the uh, delimited string okay we run uh, we go to the atc let's try to change this atc1 at the end instead of 91 let's make it 92 oh i was making change to my name so we have it here and two mckenzie two oh all of them have two now <laughs> so we hit the say oh i have all name button 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 so this is the save button then we close this and we oh we should not have done that no need to close it so we go here atc one two 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 we go back we select one of these mcs2 we remove this four eight to four nine oh we remove all the twos and ones twos and ones go 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 save then we go back to mcs all the twos ones are gone so this is how we have implemented the uh, save logic uh, once again uh, the steps are listed here and i'll put it in the comment section so first in the screen two we have to make sure that we change the collection name because we did a copy a duplicate screen we need to change the collection name and then we add a save button we need to put the proper gallery and the new control names because we got it from the screen one and then we do patch from gallery to selected so that's the difference between the first patch of the screen one and patch of screen three is we have to patch on the selected item and then make sure that the control names are properly uh, written because we have made a copy of the screen one so this is in short the saving of the edit screen